Well, hi everybody. Um, it's been a little while, well, it's been about a week since we've last worked on the van. So we struggle to get the same days off, don't we? Yeah. <coughs> so um, we've actually got a rare day off together today. So we start the roof and finish the roof today. <laughs> Let's see. We'll start the roof mm -hmm. and finish the roof today. Uh, we've, our lights have turned up. They're not as big as I thought they was going to be, but they are bright, so yeah. we'll give it a go. All right, so we've got some battens for the roof. Um, We've gone for like the thin ones for the roof for the ceiling because we don't want to lose the head height that we've that we haven't got really because uh, it's uh, <coughs> inside here is only six feet high um, so we want to try and keep the ceiling as thin as possible um, at the minute because of everything that's going on in the world trying to find timber is an absolute nightmare <laughs> because the builders are taking it all. So people like me can't build stuff like this. Makes it a bit difficult. So anyway, let's get measuring up, chopping up, sticking up, and lighting up. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. ceiling but one of the problems that we have come up with is we don't have a lot of room we've got 100 in, not inch 100 millimeters of insulation and we've got a 30 millimeter gap so we're gonna have to do some squishing I think so uh, yeah get the insulation in cut the ceiling up action. As you can see I've had to put a mask on because there's fibres just flying about all in the air. I don't really want to breathe it in, even though this is the better stuff than what they used to make years ago. Um, this stuff don't itch. Uh, well, it looks like, it looks like it's uh, fitting in there quite nicely. Now, for like those of you that um, are watching this, you've probably done all this before. Um, obviously, there's right and wrong ways of doing this. Uh, this is the first time we've um, we've done anything like this, as you know. Um, so, if we make mistakes somewhere, well, 
can only learn from them. So, uh, yeah, carry on going and uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be nice and warm in here. What, your sky? Well, look at that. It must be break time. <laughs> look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Well, hello, Teddy Bear. <laughs> what are you doing? You want a scone as well? Sorry, sorry dude, you can't have one. <laughs> look at that. She treats me well. I do. She does, yeah. Yum, yum. Good? Yep, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Some of you say, why well, don't you use the other stuff like the cell Celotex and all that? It's expensive. Once this is up and it's hidden behind the boards, you ain't got to worry about it then. Well, that's my opinion anyway. <laughs> indoors because now the weather's turned for the worst windy raining well we we'll know if this leaks or not won't we <laughs> yeah <laughs> we'll find out one way or another <gasps> and just to let you know doing the ceiling yeah you know, I wouldn't want to do it again it's an absolute pain been able to do a lot of recording today so this one is going to be a shorter one than usual 
Uh, one reason being, there's been a lot of swear words today getting this roof on or the ceiling. Um, it's pretty much done. Apart from the edging, I've now got the lights in and uh, unfortunately Karina's at work so she can't enjoy this moment with me. If I, if I could lift my arms I'd give myself a pat on the back. I haven't actually switched them on yet, I've put them in, as you can see, this bit here, ignore this bit here, this bit <coughs> is going to be a separate ceiling part for the toilet room that's going to be going there, uh, so that's got to be finished off, but as you can see the, the panels are up, the lights are in, and I'm going to try them for the first time. I've tried them when I got them out of the box, but I haven't tried them once I put them in the ceiling. So, you're the first people to see this with me. Let's go, right. Oh, that is just so cool. That is amazing. I'm really chuffed with that. Really, really happy. That. It's such an amazing result. And just to show you guys how much light it is giving, what I'm going to do, I'm going to close this door a little bit so we've got no light coming in. And I will switch them off. There we are, pitch black. You could just see the outside of where the door's slightly open. That, oh, I'm so happy with that, that is amazing. I feel like a little boy at Christmas, and I'll tell you why, because I've never done anything like this before. So you've got a bit of rain on you. Um, oh, I'm chuffed with that, oh, I'm so happy with that. I can't believe that. I can't believe how bright that is. That is just, Ignore the wires there, they're just there just to hook them up. Um, the lights are on a little remote control as well. So what I would do for storage, it will either go in a little pocket here or on this side of the door, I don't know yet. But I'm absolutely blown away about how much light that is giving me. That is amazing. I'm so happy with that. It's been such a stress. I haven't shown it on camera, but it's been really stressful getting this up today. Um, I was ready to, especially when it started raining, I was ready to just pack everything away and just go in. Um, but that's going against what, like my idea of doing the filming and finishing a job in that film. I'm happy with that. I'm so pleased with that. Six lights, 12 pound. That's all I paid for them, 12 pound. And that's the result. Amazing. Right, on that note, see you next time. <laughs>